Welcome to Rap Philosophy, come check on these lyrics. Today I'm going to be breaking down Trippy Red, Missing My Idols, one of my favorite songs on the Life is a Trip album. Um, the lyrics are just insane, the bars are out of this world. This shows when anybody call anyone a mumble rapper, or you call Trippy Red a mumble rapper, don't call him a mumble rapper, because these bars are fire. I think on par with Jake on J. Cole's level, if he wants to rap, it's on J. Cole's level, except he spits it in his own way, and that's okay. He doesn't have to have a message. He has his own message. So let's dig into these lyrics. Take a vivid picture, no photos. Implement that shit into your mind just so you know, though. Sucker free living, I'ma say that's the motto. So for anything on that sucker shit, I'm no ho, bro. Might just have to drop a bomb Han Solo. Got me bicking back being bull Quasimodo. All about my paper, gotta get my fucking doho. Always on the fucking go go, you a bitch like Tony Romo. And he, oh my god, he just keeps spitting. Might just have to drop a bomb Han Solo. Han Solo being the character in Star Wars. Got me bicking back being bull Quasimodo. You hear the um, the bees? It really got me kicking back being cool. But the B, the blood talk, the B replacing words with a hard C. So being bicking back, being cool, Quasimodo. Quasimodo, alter ego of one of the producers is like um, laid back. All about my paper, gotta get my fucking doho. Always on the fucking go go, you a bitch like Tony Romo. Tony Romo being a. Um, a former quarterback of the Dallas Cowboys. So I don't know why he's calling him a bitch. I guess he, I'm not sure the total story around him. I think they say he just missed a lot of his like football games. Niggas come around, now they extinct like dodos. Dodos a bird being extinct. Meanwhile, I'm in the New York fucking up Soho. Soho is a trendy area in New York. I like that he says Soho is kind of interesting, like especially being that he's from Ohio. Like I don't know how he knows about New York, especially Soho particularly of New York, because a lot of people know Times Square. Um, but for him to know Soho, I feel like shows Trippy's you know artistic side. Just bagged a new chick, Caroline, nicknamed Coco. So you know that song, Caroline, and then it's funny how he nicknames her Coco. Took her to the telly, now little baby going loco. She just gave me face, ain't no fucking, that's a no-no. I don't know what is the deal with a lot of these rappers talking about <clears throat> only getting top over sex. Now, I think a lot of rappers do it, or just celebrities in general, avoid that just so that they don't get in any problems. That could be one. Or the other thing, too, is just thinking like that that's all a guy needs. It's kind of fucked up because... It's messed up to the girl because that isn't the only thing a girl wants. And it's also kind of like uh, hinting at like how like arrogant and how he got it going on is that that's that she's able to just do what he wants. And she going thoroughly, early, dirty, no soap though. I'm not sure what that line is. I laugh at the haters, everything they say a joke though. And I'm screaming fuck 12, all these foul ass popo. There's his dig at the police. And then the chorus is dope and it goes on. But nowadays I really miss my fucking idol. So that's the title. I grab a Bible, pray for my rivals, dead on arrival. I Swear this shit to me like a cycle. <sighs> I love these lyrics. Nowadays, I miss my fucking idols. I don't know who his idols are, but he is gonna mention Lil Wayne. So that's the title. I grab a Bible, pray for my rivals. This competition, dead on arrival. I swear this shit to me like a cycle. It just keeps on repeating. Bodies in piles, blood rivers resemble Niles. They need survival. They need to rehearse a recital. I just sit back and listen to old Wayne songs and get domed from a bitch while I brainstorm. There he is just getting his dome. That's all he's, That's all he wants. And get and spit flames while also making it rainstorm. It's just fire, man. It's just, it's the way he's just to spit is like, again, it's just, just awesome braggadocious shit. Verse two, you see, I can't ignore it. Any niggas don't see it's in your brain to snore. And you sleep on me until you can't no more. And don't fake on me and try to play the boy. And don't know why I feel like nobody loves me. Or why they feel like my intention is something ugly. Or why I feel like everyone needs something from me. Or why I feel like everyone just saying fuck me. Or why I feel like the opposition gon' bust me. If I gave my heart, would you still love me? Lately, baby, I feel like nobody trusts me. Is it just me? <sighs> Ooh. I love these lyrics because these lyrics show that he's willing to express his true feelings, like his feeling of like, why do people hate me? Why, why am I getting, you know, his competition being other rappers and, you know, <clears throat> the consensus, I would say, not the consensus, because I love Trippy, but is that, you know, other rappers getting at him and beating him in this clout game. So it's like he's <clears throat> mentioning like, why is it that? Like, I feel like that. He, I love that he's expressing that. That's how he feels. Is this how you know? Like, the fact that a rapper could express like their true feelings and not be scared of what people are going to say, especially even in the time where you feel lower or weaker, that's 
how you know the rapper is good is that he's saying why do i feel this way why do i feel like i'm getting defeated why do i feel like the opposition is gonna bust me why do i feel like no one loves me and it just makes you love him even more it makes you be like damn trip you know we love you and then he just goes back but nowadays i really miss my fucking idol so that's the title i grab him but and he goes on with the chorus this song is lit to me missing my idols go check out this song uh, it shows you trippy red's versatility as a singer as a rapper as ugly screaming that he does which i love Trippy Red is definitely one of my favorite rappers. Check out his the album Life's um, A Trip. And I'll see you guys in the next video.